1997, the Schwinn family put their private collection of bicycles up for auction, and the small town of New Bremen, Ohio, used that as a starting point for what is now a large, one-of-a-kind bicycle collection. NBC 24's Caroline Cohen takes us to the Bicycle Museum of America on this week's Road Trippin'. Old bikes, new bikes, small and tall, the Bicycle Museum of America has them all. We pull from a collection of about 900 bicycles, so while there's only 230 on display, things are constantly sort of moving <laughs> and shaking. It's pretty organic. The Bicycle Museum of America starts at the beginning of bicycle history. It's 203 years old and it has no pedals, it's a velocipede. So it's a wooden machine that this man would just use his feet to propel himself along the ground. Working its way through every style. It's called a boardwalk tricycle. And every era the bicycle has been a part of. Typically machines like that were actually built for ladies of the era who wore, wore big kind of fluffy skirts. Even introducing you to types of bicycles you probably never knew existed. We also have a pedal car upstairs, which is really fun. Two riders can kind of simultaneously jump in and take a spin around the third floor. And if you've heard the expression, it's like riding a bike, the Ingo bike will have you thinking differently. Which is a scooter essentially with an offset hub in the back. While the Ingo wasn't so simple for me, my photographer Chuck was a natural. So you actually use the plank to sort of bounce along. But this three-story museum is more than just a showroom of bikes. We have four of the bicycles from Robin Williams' own personal collection. It's a collection of history. We try and shed some light on some of those stories. So some of these might seem rather mundane and, you know, bicycles are utilitarian objects. But I think what we try to do is interpret them in the connection of what else was happening in history. Covering every design and technique the bicycle has ever seen. So when you pedal forward, you're traveling in your lower gear, and when you want to switch, you'll just start pedaling backwards, and you can feel it shift into that higher gear. I want to hear from you. If there's a must-see spot in your town, contact me on social media, and I'll see you next week on Road Trippin'.